This must have been an award for long and faithful service. A box of snuff. Strong stuff. Hive Master. Crime Lords just love catchy monikers. The files are gone, that's odd. That is odd, to say the least. Let's take the ear, Sherry. It'll bring us luck. You'll see. Good lord, you can't be serious. Nice. Always play it by ear, pal. He's even putting up posters.
Evans, you heard how the priest was butchered. There are some chaps inside and they're armed. Be careful, Sherry. Someone's been burning papers, I see. together. What a convenient way to pull the wool over the eyes of the customs house. Is this familiar to you? You know nothing of life. Deal with it by yourself. Is this familiar to you? You know nothing of life. Deal with it by yourself. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose?
Our clothes will be worn well, take my word. Step right up. Bring it back in one piece, or you'll have to buy it. May I ask you something? I won't speak to you. Can you satisfy my curiosity? You think I would help a man whose hands are covered in the blood of my people? This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Excuse me, just one question. Don't you think I have anything better to do? Could you help me? I am a police officer too. Undercover, so just go away. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Extra, who are you asking extra, about what and dressed as what? May I ask you something? I'll help the police however I can. Get off me! Sherry, don't even think about breeding these nasty things. Ugh. Sir, I'm looking for a man who goes by the name of Hive Master. Uh huh? Chief Inspector Placido. And what makes you think that? Why, you're missing ear, amongst other things. You need a larger hat. I've been investigating your last case on behalf of Sergeant Stark. Now I think I understand what happened to the Hive Master. Humor me. All this time you've been living a double life. A police inspector by day, a crime kingpin by night. <laughs> That's a good one. A bored old dog's been chasing his own tail. No, I killed this one. As simple as that. But why? Everyone deserves a trial. Wasn't my choice. He and his thugs attacked me when I went to arrest them. It was a kill or be killed kind of situation. Turned out for the best, though. 
With his cronies dead, not a soul knows what the Hive Master looks like. His own gang, scared stiff of him. So you assumed his place to dismantle this criminal enterprise from within? Damn right I did. And after I'm done, I'm not planning to go back. I've had enough of this rotten nest of corruption. But it just won't leave me alone, will it? First, they dismiss my retirement requests, and now they send a sleuth after me. It's not like that. I tell you what it's like, son. This is not the first case you've worked on for Stark, huh? That amateur promoted to a sergeant for his merits? I don't think so. You're not an officer. But from what I can see, you are much brighter than the lot of them. So what's your stake in this? You some sort of consulting detective? Hmm. Yes. I suppose you could call me that. My name is Sherlock Holmes, at your service. Then do me a service, Mr. Holmes. Drop this case and don't tell anyone you saw me here. Let me enjoy my retirement in peace. I have to ask, why are you so fascinated with beekeeping? I just want a quiet life away from the hustle and bustle. Watching the little workers like I once watched the criminal world of Cordona. Yes. It suits me just fine. I, um... I have your ear. What the hell? Give it to me now. All right, but let's make it a fair exchange, shall we? I'll trade it for your revolver. You have little use for it now. <laughs> Deal. Now go. I'll consider your request, sir. Either way, I must talk to Sergeant Stark. Tell him I died a hero, or a coward, I don't care. As long as they leave me alone. New gun. Nice. Can I have your old one? Any news, Mr. Holmes? Chief Inspector Placido can be presumed dead. I was unable to find his body, but the evidence is unequivocal. He's gone. I suppose I expected as much, but still it doesn't make it any easier. Placido was a good man. You would have liked him if you'd met him. Yes, it's, uh, it's a pity. I'm sure I would. In any case, no matter how bad, the truth is better than uncertainty. Please, take this as a token of gratitude. You've done us all a great service. Thanks again for your help. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. The man deserves to be left alone. 